Bye, fuckers. And by fuckers, I mean nobody, because nobody's here right now. <laughs> not even me, unfortunately, because I will not be here long enough to keep my Firefox open. So, Valley, you're here in spirit and also partially literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am working on the Digimodification modification art for the giveaway winner. Nice. Oh, yeah, if I finish it in a decent amount of time, and if my arm still has the will to go on, um, I might pick another random winner. Nice. Yeah. I might go ahead and get going, since I got nothing One to wait day. for. One day I'll have money. I should need to draw this stupid OTP that I'm drawing for myself, because I don't have money to pay anyone. I will be here. I think you and another one of our players are the only people I trust to draw this character cur are the only people I trust to draw Chud without like being weird about it. <laughs> what do you mean? You know how people that like if they don't know how to draw fat people, they don't <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah. Chud's got like uh not not vanity muscles, but like actual muscles, so he's just a little chubby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got got the muscles tummy. I gotcha. So this character that is being Digimonified is a Madoka Magica OC. Oh damn. She's very cute and like, I love her design so much and I can keep most of her outfit because it translates pretty well. Which is very fun. Well, she'll have a better time in Digimon World. <laughs> yeah, save her. Save her, put her in the digital world, she's safe there, keep her safe. Like, it's not not dark, but it, it's, it's not, it's not like that. <laughs> it's not, uh, being used as a soul battery. Not all the time. Nope. And even then, you have the chance to break free. Yep, and Digimon reincarnate. I keep forgetting that there's a new Madoka movie coming out. I just feel like it's so... So far away from the original launch date that like it's... I'm not... I don't care. Yeah, I, I just... I'm gonna keep telling myself it doesn't exist until it's out. And then pirate it. Yeah. Always pirate Madoka shit. Even the phone game. Pirate that shit too. <laughs> I was playing it on blue stacks though, for real. Wow. It was okay. For like a gacha game? Pretty okay. It was yeah. your standard gacha team up game. I like all the little animations for that long game. Yeah. Very pretty. I think I'd play it again, but I'd want to, you know, big time jailbreak it. In Minecraft. <laughs> Do not come after us, corporations. It's like I'd like to be able to just have infinite glitter <laughs> to throw into the into the gumball machine. <laughs> ah. Ah. Hey. Um. Right here on the floor, you can grab it. Okay, I'll hand it over, give me a second. Also, I love, I love watching you go ragdoll and look, you look like you're rowing a gondola. <laughs> oh, that was very good. I'm really sad like Kit's not here to clip that shit. <laughs> and the fog will always be there. Good, good. People will be like, Frog, why don't you clip it? Bitch, I don't know how to do that shit. You click the button, it's so I'm easy. I am too old for button. No, no you're not, it's so easy. 
I only understand hashtag. Dragons, I'm gonna teach you this for right now. <laughs> no, uh, video yep. editing is beyond me. It's not, it's not even video editing. Ah, you can't make me learn. Yes, I can. I'm pulling Erika Ishii and refuse to learn. Can't make me read. You're gonna learn today. You're gonna fucking learn. Ah, uh, let me roll my intelligence check. Oh, it's a one. <laughs> You're not getting out of this. On the bottom right of the stream, the same area where you get the full screen button. There's oh. this little thing right here. It looks like whoops. <laughs> clapboard. Know, yes, a little clacky. It a clapboard. Will, it's called yeah. a clapboard. There you go. That's what you press, and it will click the last whatever just happened, and you can you can do up to a minute. But there's like a little slider so you can crop it. And before my computer is full of weird clips that I didn't know I made. <laughs> it doesn't save it to your computer. Okay, good. It saves it to my Twitch. Oh, okay, good. And before your Twitch is inundated with clips that I didn't know I made. <laughs> if you can't tell by my mountain of riffs, this is I'm making this into an Angelomon variant. Nah, 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 nah. nah. <laughs> No way. Uh, today I had the unique challenge of making two egg sandwiches out of three egg. Each sandwich is an egg and a half. Yeah, the answer to that is not putting all three eggs in pan, though. <laughs> Um, because that's what I did, and so I just ended up with a scrambled egg sandwich. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then tried to flip it and it fell apart. Oh, That's okay, most of my egg sandwiches are scrambled eggs anyway. Well, I had to make them because the eggs were... You know, have you ever done, like, the egg and water test? To uh, see if they're not bad? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were standing on their heads, so they didn't have much time left. They've been cooked. And I put them in a big cup and they sank all the way down, but they were doing little handstands, so I was like, oh, time to get cooked. Cook them eggs. Oh, I should probably DM the winner throughout the middle of streaming. <laughs> Sharks are just like, hey buddy, what are you up to? Yeah. It was so cool. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. Yeah, and he posted a I'm... video on his Tumblr. I'm so jealous. I am too. <laughs> I want to go to his aquarium so bad. I, uh, I just remember stories of, like, the bird wranglers, because we had bird wranglers. Yeah. We had birds in our aquarium. <laughs> Not uncommon, don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, so like the, the bird wranglers, like the, they had stories because they kept finches in the same enclosure as the Komodo dragons because they had the same like environmental requirements, right? Yeah. They're both from the Galapagos, like they had Galapagos finches in there. And they have, though, you constantly have to order new finches because they do not live very long. 
And this man is out there on this catwalk with barely any railings, just snatching birds out the air. And I'm just like, you are a braver man than many. Damn. Like a catwalk above the Komodo dragons, like two adult males, like, no. Jesus Christ. I was like, hey, bud, what's your hazard pay look like? He's like, not enough. <laughs> And then when they put in the, because they have a zipline course too at the aquarium, when he does, he, he he helps out with the maintenance and training for that too. So I'm just like, you were clearly built for something and it was this. Yeah, 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 no, that's, that's, care you gotta be careful with that. Yeah, and then Corey, uh, like a day later or so, was like, you can show it. Like, once I get dive certified, I'm gonna be on YouTube by me, where people are gonna know where I work, so he's fine with it. Well, yeah, but, you know. Yeah, it's, you gotta be careful, but, I mean, if he says it's fine, I'm sure everybody else when will, it, like, uh, When it comes to that shit, when it comes to that shit, you gotta ask permission rather than... You know, forgiveness. That is yeah. too scary for me. Yeah, he, uh, he gave explicit permission to share an exonym, so I sure will. But I don't believe he's on break right now, so I don't expect him to come on today. I started oh. stream a little bit later than normal because I slept in. I believe you slept in. This you of all people. I had a ghost experience last night and I was awake a while. You, whose regular sleep schedule accounts for sleeping in on mine. Oh, yeah. Sleeping in for me was to like. almost 2 p.m., I think. It's so scary. It's so <laughs> scary. Scarier than Could a ghost. not do it. Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm a nocturnal at base, but I, at this point, I have to get up at 8 a.m. or I feel like I'm going crazy. I gotcha. Oh, oh, I got good news. Yeah. The birth control that I'm on works with T, and I'm so excited. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I was, like, already on the right one, and he's like, oh, yeah, no, that's perfect. That's, that's ideal, actually. Fantastic, I'm so happy for you. What is the, uh, birth control you're on, if I may ask? Norethrin... Perfect, Norethrin thank you. Norethrin the throne. It's, uh... <laughs> it's progesterone-based only, which progesterone is the... the testosterone adjacent. Yep. Cause, like, my... my... my fear is not... It's the unexpected surprise that I don't want to encounter. <laughs> Yep. Well, that's all in the works now, so I'm very excited, a little bit scared. Genuinely surprised at how straightforward it's been, but d delighted nonetheless. It's gonna be so awesome. I hope so. I have a- I also have a therapist that is uniquely positioned to be able to help me with it, so that's a delight. Good. Very important to have. Yeah. Goodness, there's just nobody today. Where is everybody? What'd you do to them? I don't know. Quick question, yes. art related. 
Have my colors been like overly saturated or like regular saturated? Can you repeat the first part? When I color things, is it like oversaturated or like regular? That's not what I mean. Okay. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out like I'm figuring out new monitor settings. Oh, I see. I have both of my monitors set to like the cool tone colors. Oh no, that would drive me up the wall. Mine keeps like anytime I go in and adjust it to like another thing, it's like, do you want to be cold or warm? And I'm like, don't don't do that. <laughs> I'll do that. Actually, let me, let me check to see what mine is called. It's a normal preset. I have to, I have to get behind my monitor to press buttons in a second. I've got it set to, um... Scenery setting, normal tone, not cool. And then I adjusted, I had to adjust the brightness and contrast individually, like, well early on. Um, fortunately, Windows Windows has a setting for that, so that's pretty neat. I cannot fucking find the thing. I'm not going to mess with this on stream. What? I'm there. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm being summoned, so give me, um, give me a second. Yeah, no problem. I'm not going to mute or anything. You're going to hear background noises. Okay. Guys who aren't here, how do you put an elephant in a refrigerator? One piece at a time. How do you put a giraffe in the refrigerator? You take it you take the elephant out first. And then you put the giraffe in one piece at a time. Welcome back. <laughs> Ollie wanted to show me her present rapping skills. Were they good? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> my, yes, then. <laughs> yeah, mine were equally atrocious, so we got to be like, wow, only one of us in the house knows how to rap presents, and that's Jake because he used to work at Michael's. So, here's the trick to rapping presents. You know how candies are wrapped with like the little twisty curly set the sides that are like twisted up? Yeah. Yeah, just wrap that shit like a cough drop. I'm gonna do that on the next one. <laughs> just extra wrapping paper, then twist the sides. Yeah, buddy. Minimal effort, still cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am having the uh, vivid memory of how we wrapped our nephew's Christmas presents. Yeah. And that we are sending said Christmas presents with his aunt, who has to take them out and put them in a new container to bring them with him with her on the plane. And um, we sure did put a bunch of bows in there. Good job. Yeah, Kevin Grucero brought home a whole bag of bows. Like the sticky ones that you peel and stick. Yeah. And I was like, more bows or less bows? And he just announced all the bows. So between every layer of tissue paper, like five or six bows. That's how it should be. Yeah. I support this. Yeah, I can't wait. For that text message. I 
we got uh, my chocolates from Fluff. They're beautiful. Hell yeah. Aren't they? They're so good, too. Yeah. Uh, I had, like, almost a row of them last night. Um, I, I wanted chocolate roulette where I only know what... I only know one of the flavors that's supposed to be included. I just don't know what it looks like. Um, <laughs> there's a little, like, packet that comes in there that tells you what each of the flavors are. And I'm like, I'm not going to look at that until I'm done eating them all. Oh, it's... It, that's not even all of them. I want to look. I want to look. Okay, you can look, but like that's not even all of them because I had ones that weren't on the packet. Damn. It's special ones. And Saro also had ones that weren't on the packet. Because I asked for like the whiskey filled ones, which were really fucking good. Yeah. Um, so they weren't. I don't think that the one that I specifically asked for was on the packet. I think it was that location only. How many wings do I want her to have? Well, if she's a cherubim, then she needs, like, three on each side. Let's fucking go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, 50,000 eyes! I might actually put a couple eyes on the wings, that would be kind of neat. No, yeah, I am I not that. copying and pasting that, I need a different shaped wing. Yeah, I was gonna say, usually they get smaller as they go down. Watch out. Maybe you gotta switch out the nib. Maybe it's time. I actually just switched it out oh, no a mind. couple weeks ago for the first time in maybe five years. Holy shit! Yeah. Bro, mine's a three year, but I'm very heavy handed. Yeah, I, I can't do heavy handed anymore because of my condition. <laughs> okay, how do I want to layer these wings? get them, maybe lay them flat, so that they kind of mimic the uh, train of her dress. What do you mean? I'm trying to think, because I can see one of those Andrew Womans has kind of what I'm thinking of. I don't know if it's Andrew Woman, but it's like on the, the right. Right. Middle. Here? Roughly, yeah, roughly, yeah. Roughly, yeah. I'll just get over here in a second. Yup. Go right, left, where she's got them down, and they're like flat, like against. Not that one. The middle left. Middle right, sorry. Middle right. Middle right. One? This one? Yeah, she's got some that are like. At the hip down. level, yeah, that are like down yeah, and they I was, kind I was of do something similar. yeah, they kind of give me dress train vibes. Yeah, this Angela Mons really cool, by the way. Yeah, she is. I like all of her lace. That's Angela X. That's my wife. 
Yes. Yeah, whenever I draw wings, I just kind of grab a wing and I make the shape bend to my whim. Like it's crepe paper and I don't worry about how the joints work. I am getting a little munchy, but I don't think I'm hungry enough to get food yet because I ate only breakfast. Maybe I'll get something when you head out. Yeah, that's probably a good time to do so, because that'll mean you've been in like streaming for like almost an hour, so. Yeah. Sometimes wings can just be little hands that hold your hand. Yes. some wing eyeballs. Yeah. What if... No, that, that concept is... That concept wouldn't work. I was like thinking, what if the, uh... Whatever the girls keep their little witch thingies in as eyeballs. Um, I probably... Hold on. I could probably do that for the weapon she has. Because I was oh, going to okay. incorporate it. Or things that like resemble eyeballs, but are more like fight false eye spots. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's just one for eye would actually be really, really cute. <laughs> or one eye for wing is actually really cute. Yeah. I don't know if I can fit them on the bottom ones and have it work, but I will try. No, you don't have to. I just think that that part is very cute. Being on the top wings is very cute. Yes. These are the sea and wings, and the bottom wings are the hand holding wings. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's 
let's see if it'll work. You know what? I don't hate that. It's staying. <laughs> what do you see with your special eyes? Your hand as it holds mine. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know she's got actual arms, but I don't want to hold her hand. I want to hold her little wing hand. <laughs> stuff up in my room. Like, I, I finished painting the green trim over my closet and over my doorway. And I finished putting all the stars on my ceiling, and I had Jake help me put up the... I'll, I'll send a picture of this. I had, I had um, moons cut out to put in the corners of my room. Sure. There we go. Discord changed the API. I hate it. Fights it, fights it, fights it. So I, haven't, I haven't updated my mobile app because I don't want to see it. It's not too bad. It's just different. Yeah. Man, can I please copy and paste from Discord? Why do I have to open it in the browser and put it on side? Stupid. Yeah, I got these put up in all the corners of my room. And there's stars on the entire ceiling now. Hell yeah. I'm trying to get a picture of the whole ceiling. Uh, this is a funky perspective because I, I did that like zoom out lens to get the whole thing. Wow. Yeah, the whole thing has stars. The fan is disassembled right now because I was painting the fan blades. Um, oh, okay. That should be put back together later tonight once this paint sealer dries, but I'll send a picture of what that's supposed to look like. It looks really good so far, though. Thank you. I put moon phases on my fan blades. This is a picture oh. of it still wet. It looks better than this. It's gonna look so silly when it spins. I'm excited. It's gonna spin and it's gonna look like the sun! <laughs> yeah, ah. under, under the fan, I actually have a little sun decal here. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Thank you. I'm very proud of my room and how it's coming together. I just, the, the bane of my existence in here is the wallpaper that isn't finished because it's going to cost so much to finish it. So I don't know when that's going to happen. Well, either when you get enough money, or you get angry enough. <laughs> it's usually how that shit works for me. Yeah, it's, it's not something I can do by myself. Like, I have to hire somebody to do it. That doesn't mean you won't get angry enough to just do something about it. <laughs> yeah.
to put aside from the wallpaper that may not get finished for another year. Um, most of it's done in here. I have a shelf that I need to put up. Um, I still have a little bit of the board that needs to go up behind my desk, but I don't have it cut. So I, it's just sitting there blank. Thank God my desk is blocking the view. Yeah, that's fine though. It's not that bad. like, hey, oof, ouch, stop it. My arm hurt quite bad. Your so body I, said no. Yeah, I, I took an Epsom salt bath and that helped a lot. And then yesterday I didn't stream because I had a spooky ghost encounter and made the vibes wrong, so I was just chilling. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised you didn't stream yesterday. Yesterday was pretty standard stream day for you. Sure would have been. Sure would have been. Yeah, Tuesdays and Wednesdays are pretty common days for you. Yep. But then a spooky ghost had to come and uh, throw me off my groove. We got a new girl at work. She's okay. Yep. I don't have any complaints yet. And um, we had to tell her about our work ghost, and she's like, "You guys have a work ghost." And she's like, "Sell them to actually scared." And I was like, "The the actual like the realness of the ghost is debatable. <laughs> we just have a name that we blame things on." <laughs> <laughs> Do I think Nelson is real? Uh, he's okay. Uh, he just throws things. He just gets mad. Like what? Hey, okay, so like the toy aisle. <laughs> He'll go into the toy aisle and just knock shit on the floor. <laughs> this and, like, toy sucks! Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, my only <laughs> real encounter with him has been walking through the toy aisle during after clothes, and like, as I'm coming back around, a toy that was further on the shelf than I initially, that it should have been to fall off, was on the floor. Like, I heard the clatter, I turned around and said, Nelson, behave. <laughs> I don't want to do this tonight. It's been a long night. And then nothing else happened. <laughs> <laughs> Nelson, chill out, please. I, I think he might be real, but I don't think his name is actually Nelson, but I think he's accepted that we're going to call him Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> he can't communicate otherwise, so he'll be like, fine, that's, that's an okay name, I guess. Your ghost and the people around you just assign you a random name, I guess. <laughs> or like, I'll be putting toys away and something will go off and be like, I don't- Look, I appreciate that you want to play. I don't want to do this. <laughs> I just feel like if you tell him to stop, he stops, and that's all that matters. Everybody's all afraid, and they're like, Oh, he's good again. No, you just tell him to stop. Tell him he's doing nonsense. <laughs> he's just throwing a tantrum. He's bored. He, he's more active when we have other stores next door. And I don't know if that's because, like, it's an actual vibration from next door, or he just doesn't like neighbors. <laughs> Weird. He says, excuse me, there's people in that space where people shouldn't be. Do something he about was, it. Yeah, he was very active during Spirit, when Spirit of Halloween was there. And he got really active when the liquor store moved. And by active, I just mean setting toys off. He doesn't really do anything besides set off the electronic toys. Interesting. 
and make the the way back of the store like in the back room kind of kind of bad vibes not like not like an evil spirit but like something is not right here kind of vibes yeah so I, I maybe, call that like a just being potent yeah 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 he hangs out for the most part in like the back room where our like where like our storage is i'm gonna call it kind of a warehouse storage because it's basically built like that and um he hangs out between there and the walls to like the toys so i don't know what was up with that area but that was his area and he likes it over there interesting so he'll like he'll like go between the walls i guess i don't know i don't understand ghosts i guess he's just going between the two between the toys and the the storage area not his favorite spots, but that's okay. Ugh. He gives me he gives me wigglies when I'm back there. He gives me wigglies if I go all the way back there. Like, a all this shit is hand built. Those those shelves all the way up to the ceiling. Somebody built those with their hands. That's kind of scary. Don't like that, Brian. Fix that. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's that. That's a little that's a little spooky in and of itself. But also, like, if I go back, then I'm just like, look, bro, I just need some hangers. It eases up, you know? That's good. Like, I'm not here to fuck with your shit. I'm not here to touch anything. I'm not gonna climb the shelves like an idiot. I just want some hangers. And if they're not on the floor level, I'm not worried about it. You say, bro, I just work here. That's literally how I handle it. I'm just like, bro, <laughs> please. I'm, I'm underpaid. Not paid enough to deal with the haunting. I'm really not. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I, I feel like your resume can be with a little bit. <laughs> I feel like retail places pull like not necessarily like human spirits, but definitely like an energy spirit kind of thing, like yeah. a natural spirit. I feel like they pull those in. They draw them in because there's always every store anybody's ever worked has a ghost. I'm even like, if it's shop, like, one. yeah, even if it's like a Target that was built on what used to be an uninhabitable lake, like that's that Target has a ghost. No toys around if this place is haunted. So I think I think it's just like a natural spirit sort of deal, not less, not necessarily an actual like human trapped beyond the grave sort of thing. Yeah. Earth spirit, as it can be called. Yeah, but then he can call it um, a, a, a child ghost all she wants, and I'm just gonna sit there and be like, no, it's not. No, it's not. We're in the foothills of Appalachia. No, it's not. Yeah, like it might be. It might be. With spirits. Yeah, like we're in the foothills of Appalachia. It's probably an earthbound spirit. Like, it could be a ghost. It absolutely could be. There there was the War of 1812 and various tribal wars in the area and various tribes that are still in the area. Like, that's all entirely possible. People have been living in this area for thousands and years, thousands and thousands of years, so. Yep. But it's also entirely possible he's an angry rock. <laughs> that's one way to word it. Which is how I've chosen to word it today, because it's funny. It is pretty funny. I'm out here crawling around looking for references of Chud, and I've done pretty much all of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like me and Chaz. <laughs> We've done all of them. Shared custody. Shared custody of the Scar reference sheet. <laughs>
Every I like her little dress. Huh? Uh, I said I like her little dress, but I wanted to hear what you said too. Oh, I was gonna say every time I catch myself, like, with my mouth hanging open while I draw, I'm thankful that I don't have face tracking. I think he should be. I think every now and then, like, the bull's mouth should come unhinged and open up for no reason. Well, I want him to be able to do that at some point. I just, uh, don't have a reason to get that yet. I know there's, uh, I know Lore wants to do more art trades at some point, but I'm trying to prioritize things that will get me money for now. I am trying to convince my coworkers to pay you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Especially the one who's getting VR chat for Christmas. <laughs> you breathing over the shoulder like, give my friends money, give my friends money. Just leaning in like, Aaron, Aaron, commission my friends or Destiny's son. Do it. Do it. Do it. You want to commission my friends so bad. Either my friends or her son. Her son knows how to do it too. Nice. Like my one of my coworkers' son does 3D models for Roblox. That's hilarious. And makes fucking money off of it. I didn't know you could do that. Hustle, baby. He's doing really well for himself. She's like, yeah, I'm really proud of him. She's like, it's a weird gig, but he's having fun and he's getting money. He's doing great. He does a lot of the programming and all that too, and I'm just like, oh, wow, one man band over here. Listen, Roblox makes. It, it, it incentivizes people to learn how to do things, which is pretty respectable. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Also, and then it gave I one of my favorite emojis to send in any server. It's just a Roblox guy dancing and breaking it down. <laughs> I also directed her towards like um, pirate software, their streamer, not not the action of pirating software, but pirate software, the streamer Thor, because like I was like, oh, I think your son might actually enjoy this. Nice. Because like he talks about how to do all that stuff and how to to hack ethically and legally and stuff like that. Nice. Like How to get started the right way. Yeah. <laughs> Not the, uh, the FBI is at my doorway. <laughs> yep. Watch out. FBI, open up. No. Okay, have a nice day. Where's <laughs> <laughs> your warrant? <laughs> FBI hitting the buzzer on my apartment building just like we have a warrant and I'm just like, okay. Never hits the buzzer to let him in. <laughs> Make a run for it. If it's not Mulder, I'm still at my door, I'm not opening it. <laughs> I don't know how I'd make a run for it. I can't go out the front balcony that's over the front door! <laughs> Teleport. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> you're right, you're right, I could just teleport. What am I doing? Yeah. Do you even teleport, bro? Idiot hasn't learned Shadowfall and Jutsu. Shadowfall and Jutsu, more like... I'm gonna go downstairs, wave the FBI, go down into the basement and leave via the other building. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be like, oh no, they're going out the back door, and I'm gonna be like, haha, jokes on you, I'm in the basement. Oh, yeah. I like oh, would you like to see the big boy? Yeah. Hold on a I just left work. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm holding, Try. I'm holding. You know what? Hold on. Look what I got! Oh! Yes! Big shark! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
Nice. <laughs> How soft is it? Oh my god, so fucking soft, dude. Hell yeah. yeah I like... shared the picture with each other to show how big it is. Yeah, how big it is. Hold on. I gotta. I'm this is to my arm, this is my hand. Okay, right, I gotta hop off. I'll leave you guys. See you later. See you later. Yeah, I'm hopping off too. I just wanted to share with the, the big boy. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah, Great. Bye. Have fun. Bye. Yeah, you can share the picture with of him. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye, bye. 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 I, I said I was gonna go get dinner when Roggins left, but I'm not hungry yet, so I'm gonna keep going.
been a very quiet stream up until this point. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope I can be a decent substitute for a brain... for a brain food. I'm doing okay. Um, I actually had a very interesting last couple of days. I didn't stream yesterday because I had a bit of a spooky ghost encounter that threw me off my vibe, so I just chilled instead of doing anything. I won't go too into detail on that, but whatever it was, it has been dealt with, so worry not. isn't consistently haunted because whatever comes through here comes and goes within five minutes. So, my brother described her house as like a spiritual waypoint. There's a lot going on, but it's never consistent and it's never the same guy twice. Um, whatever came through yesterday while I was playing with the spirit box was not nice. Um, but it was still fun to actually get something. the lines on this and then I go make my dinner and um if my arm is still feeling fine by the time I'm done with this I might take a second winner for the giveaway. spooky thing happened to me last night that wasn't bad, it just woke me up, so I ended up having to sleep in. Um, I was woken up to the feeling of something poking my face. Um, and it was, it was kind of pointy, but not overly sharp. And when I felt it, my brain registered it as feeling like, um, the seed pod for a gum tree. So I got up today and I was like, uh, does that have any plant symbolism? And it has like a tiny bit. Um, but whatever it is wasn't threatening. It's definitely interesting.
what I did find was the only spiritual uh, significance that plant has to anything is um, it's like a protective charm in voodoo. Um, I don't practice voodoo or voodoo because I'm white and I feel like that would be disrespectful, but that's interesting. Um, and it's, it's called like a witch's burr, which is also fun. My brother interpreted it as maybe there's a spirit that was passing through that did practice voodoo. And maybe that was like a protective gesture from them. Which I think would be nice. It didn't, it definitely was not a threatening vibe whenever it happened. Play pots, there is always a ghost somewhere. But you also gotta be careful. Otherwise, you'll end up with what the fuck happened to me, happened to me yesterday. Okay, I'll go ahead and tell you, because I, I haven't told anybody on stream yet since it, the stream's been fucking dead. <laughs> um, so I was on FaceTime with Ingrid yesterday, and we were playing with my spirit box. And first we started with it in my room, which is like riddled with protections, so not much was coming through at all. Uh, what did come through was kind of funny though. Something that kept saying, you suck. You suck. You suck. You're fat. Like it said, you suck three times. And I'm like, dude, what's your problem? <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm not getting anything significant from here. So I'm gonna go out in our, in our backyard. Yeah, it was rude. It wasn't malicious. It was just mean. Um, so I, I went to the backyard. Um... Hold on, my sketch is blinding me. There we go. Uh, I went to the backyard, wrapped no blanket because it's cold, um, and I sat in our gazebo where we continued our spirit box session. And a lot more was coming through when I went out there, but it was like 80 people trying to talk at once. Because it, it was just so crowded. Uh, but uh, what I did have happen at one point was I had my EMF detector in view of the camera so Andrew could see. And we were trying to encourage the spirits to touch it and make it light up. And it did a few times. And while it was happening, we kept getting a voice coming through that sounded frustrated because they couldn't get it to light up enough. <laughs> it's like, I'm trying so hard and it's just not working. And we're like, it's okay, buddy, take your time, it's okay, we believe in you. <laughs> um, but here's the coolest part. While it was lighting up, I was looking at it, and I saw, like, an orb in real life. It was very weird. It was like, um, wait, you know when you get dust on your glasses and it leaves a spot in your vision? It was like that, but it, like, appeared out of nowhere and moved around detector and then disappeared. It was definitely not on my eye or on my glasses. And I was like, wow, that was pretty neat. It didn't show up on the camera either. Um, yeah, that was all fun and benign. Um, but then uh, I decided I was cold and I would like to go back inside, so I decided to, to continue in my garage. Um, in the garage, we decided to do the Estes method, where, um, if you've never heard of it, it's like you you put headphones into the spirit box and you say what you hear and the other person asks the question so you can't hear them asking the question so it won't influence what you say. Um, so I had the headphones in and I had Indrid asking the questions. And uh, <laughs> a lot of funny stuff came through. There was like... Um, it sounded ominous at first, but then it just got kind of weird. It was like, join us. Tickle. Tickle your loved ones. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> Why do you want to tickle your loved ones? Leave my loved ones alone. You don't need to tickle them, thank you. And then, uh, what else was interesting from that? There was a lot that happened before it got spooky, and I'm trying to remember it all. Um, 
I think one of them said, like, you're gay at one point. <laughs> Which is funny because uh, my brother was talking about the gay ghost that flirted with him the other day, just a second ago before that session. Um, there was a few other parts, and I, at one point, um, I started hearing Spanish come through. And Idris speaks Spanish and I don't, so I... I was like, oh, I heard something in Spanish, and then I heard C, as in yes in Spanish. And then, um, I didn't know this at the time, but it started asking things in Spanish, and that's when, like, the energy flipped, and, um, stuff started coming through a lot more prominently. Um, and at one point, I heard... Like, when you ever use the spirit box, it's a constant static, and it goes like... Ch -ch 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 as it switches through the channels. At one point, the static stopped. It went dead silent. And in the silence, I heard... Like, I heard it. I heard a little breath. And I ripped the, the, headbutt, the earbuds out, and I was like, okay, that... No, thank you. <laughs> that was gross. Um, but we were, like, getting a lot of contact from the lady that was speaking Spanish. So I decided to keep going, but uh, play it out loud and stop, stop the Estes session, so that Idrit could maybe understand some of it. Um, as we kept going, and she was still coming through, I could definitely hear her. She said, like, um, Sace, and then, um, I forget the word, but it was like a word for, the Spanish word for song. Um, and uh, it kept going, and then the silence happened again, and the breath happened again. And I was like, um, stop that. And then it happened a third time. And I'm like, hey, yo. And then another, this is when we cut it off. It went like, <sighs> over the whole static. And we're like, okay, that's enough. Time to turn it off. Banish the spirits. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I opened the garage door and I was like, get out. Get out. <laughs> you cannot stay here. And then I cleansed, I cleansed the house and the garage and my room. I cleansed myself. I did so much banishing. And it was really icky, but it wasn't as bad as you'd expect it to be. Uh, don't recommend that though. Uh, whenever you're doing spirit box sessions, it's really important to have boundaries with the spirits around you. Um, and you always need to know when to stop. And that was definitely the you need to stop signal. Which I'm really sad about because I felt like we were we were getting pretty close to connecting to whatever or whoever that lady was. Uh, she didn't feel bad at all. It just felt like there might have been something along with her that was bad. But yeah, I had a very interesting day yesterday. And after war Andrew and I were like, I can't believe we didn't think to record any of that. Which, of course, would be the case. Um, but it, it was like our first time trying that over FaceTime, so I didn't even think it would be worth recording. But now we know for next time. <laughs> yeah, it was really, really interesting. Um, when convening with spirits of any kind, you need to... I guess have a good spiritual head on your shoulders. Always know that you have authority over anything that comes at you. Things will be scary, and it's okay to be scared. But know that you can tell them no and they have to listen. They might fight back a little, but they gotta, they gotta fuck off at some point. And it was after all that stuff that happened that I had that, um weird wake-up experience last night. And again, I, I'm interpreting that as a spirit's protective gesture, which is appreciative after whatever the hell we encountered yesterday. Oh, oh, I forgot to say, after... After we finished the spirit box session and I came back inside to start cleansing the house, um, the, the 
there's a little, like, lamp lantern light on the spear box. And that had turned on while I was carrying it. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I don't even know how to turn that on. So I found the button, and to turn it on or off, you have to hold the button down for three seconds. So I definitely did not turn the light on. So I told Andrew that, and Andrew was like, oh, that's kind of funny, because when I was doing the spirit box session with you, I was trying to encourage them to light up the EMF detector, but what I said loosely translated to, can you turn the light on? So I guess it wasn't specific, and I... <laughs> Someone got the job done, but on the wrong device. <laughs> Very fun stuff. Fun and spooky. I should probably talk about this part too. This is what prompted me to do spirit box session yesterday. Uh, the night before, I had, um, I had gone into bed, and any time I lay down in my bed, no matter what time of day it is, Sherman will come up onto the bed with me and lay down. Um, so I was getting ready to sleep, and Sherman jumped up onto the bed for a minute, and then he was like, I actually don't want to be up here, and he jumped down. Which is very weird for him. I don't know why he was doing that. So I'm like trying to coax him back on the bed. I'm going and like patting the bed and everything. And he's just staring at me from the other end of the room. He does not want to come on the bed. I'm like, Sherman, why? What's your problem? You have food and you have water. What's your problem? Um, and then I start getting the vibe that uh, I'm not alone in my room. Um, and while that's happening, Outside in the living room, I can hear Banjo going fucking crazy with zoomies. But it's like, it sounded specifically like he was either chasing something or somebody was actively playing with him, but nobody else was awake. So I'm like, okay, that's interesting. And then I hear, like, the tail end of a yawn is what it sounded like. Like, <sighs> like I hear that. And I thought it was my brother in the living room. But again, my brother was not in the living room, he was in his room. So I'm like, okay. Okay, so I get up to cleanse the room, and I'm like, whatever is here, you don't feel malicious, but please don't bother me while I'm trying to sleep, you can talk to me tomorrow. Um, and then as soon as I have cleansed the room, Sherman gets up on my bed and lays down like there was no problem. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. And that's what prompted the uh, spear box session. Um, it sounded like at one point somebody was trying to get a message across, but it was so crowded that nobody could get a solid sentence in. So there's a bunch of ways to cleanse. It's mostly intense based. What I'll do is I'll open a door um, so that whatever spirit I'm trying to banish can leave. I'll open a door and then I'll get an incense stick and I'll light it and then I'll wave it around clockwise in a room and then counterclockwise. And then I'll just let the incense sit on its burner and burn. And I say it out loud. No bad spirits are allowed here, only spirits with good intentions may remain, all that fun stuff. I do have, um, I have some sage, but I don't use it unless it's like a really bad thing. It's like a, a spiritual nuke for me. There's, uh, I, I conserve it as much as possible because I know white sage is not always 
sourced ethically. I bought that stuff in an emergency when I had a nasty spirit attachment and it did the trick. So I, I keep it for the worst of the worst. Yeah, I want to get a bell at some point. Um, I, I mean, I have bells, but none of them feel like they would work for that purpose. They don't vibe with me that way. Yeah, that's right. I would recommend just finding one that vibes with you. Speaking of bells, uh, the other day, um, I, I, this was mentioned on stream at some point, but um, I got I got my friend Twig a little apple bell for Christmas. It's like a little golden apple and shake it into bell. Um, <laughs> and when, when they opened it, they're like, I swear I've seen this bell before, like it feels way too familiar. And I'm like, well, it's meant to be. How about that? I have two bells on my shrine. One of them is one of them has a unicorn on the handle, and the other one is shaped like a pretty little lady. Where her her big dress is the bell section. to not do that one. It's possible they're drop shipping anyway, so you can maybe find that same bell elsewhere. My local witch store has a little basket full of pretty little bells that you can make witch bells with. And I didn't get any the last time I went because I was on a uh, Christmas gift mission, but next time I go on, I get some.
Okay, I finished most of the lines. I have to go over this sketch, it, obviously. But I believe it is finally time for me to go get food, so I'm gonna be RB for a little bit. Enjoy the Digimon music, see y'all in a hot minute.
I'm back, I got food. We're gonna hang out here for a minute while I get my first few bites in. Hello, hello, hi pal, I see you. I hope everybody's having a lovely Wednesday. Tell me about y'all's week so far. What do you have going on? What is up? Uh, also, for anybody who wants it, I have a Google Doc where I broke down a bunch of my older ghost experiences. Um, I might share it in the witchy corner later tonight. Let me know if anybody wants that. I don't have it updated with more recent ghost experiences, and I don't imagine I'm going to do so because I feel like they're just gonna keep coming. Friend of the stream and my dear friend Fluffs uh, sent me some chocolates for Christmas and they're very tasty. I'm excited to eat more after I finish having dinner. They're making chili. Take pictures. What point of time?
something funny happened yesterday. Um, not ghost related. Uh, I was on FaceTime with my mother and my camera panned over to glance at my shrine, my witchy good vibes shrine, and I've got like a very, um, uh, there's pictures of my shrine in my Discord, but there's a big tapestry of like a Grim Reaper looking thing. And my mother was like, what is that? Now keep in mind, my mother's very Christian. <laughs> and anytime there's hints of like witchcraft that I'm doing, I just have to talk about it like it's normal and not a big deal and then she doesn't freak out about it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I got that because of uh, this dream I had once. And I told her about the dream. And like, it is the reason why I got it, but it's like, uh, this is my spiritual practices now. <laughs> Do not be alarmed, mother. It is fine. It was just really funny, because I'm like, <laughs> How can I skirt around being very specifically wicked try that I've got going on?
know what I would label my belief system now. I believe there, I do believe in like, um, there being some sort of inherent magic to the universe. I also believe in evolution and all that. That's agnostic because it's agnostic is like uh, you don't know if there is a god. Um, <laughs> eclectic pagan. That's good. Where in, in my case, I acknowledge that there's probably many gods, but I just don't follow any of them. Sure, man. through the spirit box yesterday was I asked can you name any living people in my house and uh Ingrid heard something say Sherman and I was like uh thank you but that's not a people that is a cat ancestral lands, religions, or beliefs. Uh, my family's mostly Irish. Um, Ireland, uh, uh, Irish folklore has a lot of really cool stuff. I just don't... None of it clicks with me, I guess. Not as in I don't believe it, but believe in it, but I'm not like... I mean, like, there's no specifically Irish deity or something that I would want to follow. I mean, unless one of them brings me up on the phone, but I'm just kind of vibing.
Oh, that's cool. Very interesting. I'm looking at this and right now it looks like it could be um, like a regional variant of Chandelure. Completely unintentional, but it's funny.
Gorgeous. Very nice, very nice. Okay, where is it? There we go, our lines are... done. 
I said I might pick another winner after this, but I think I'll save that for another day, because I am really sleepy. I'm gonna color her and be done for the day, I think. Maximum EV there. Excuse me.
Jesus. That is an anchor verse. On this part, to make it pop a little more. Excuse me.
Jesus Christ! <laughs> you better sleep with the blood I open tonight! <laughs> yes! For anybody who has, well, I mean, I guess nobody saw that, but my brother jump scared me just now really bad. <laughs> he came up next to me with a power drill and went <laughs> next to my ear. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna go back and get a clip of that later. <laughs> I'm gonna go BRB for a second. Um, my perfect brother who has never done anything wrong in his life is gonna, um, uh, put their blades back on my fan, so... BRB!
I have to send pictures and video of um, the newly painted ceiling fan. Hey, old twig! Twig, you missed it. Jake came in here to help uh, reassemble my fan and to announce his presence. He came up next to me and uh, revved the power drill next to my ear and it jump scared me so bad. I, I wrote down the timestamp so I can go back and get a clip of it later. It was so rude! <laughs> I fall into sleep with one eye open tonight. I don't even know where to share this in my server. But again, in general. Oh. Jake? Who's that, Ollie? Ask Jake if he wants the rest of my chicken. over time.
Welcome back, you... <laughs> you missed something really funny, like a couple minutes after you left. My brother came in here to help put the blades back on my ceiling fan, and he jump scared me really bad by coming up behind me and revving the power drill next to my head. Um, I had to go back and get a clip of that, because it was really funny. <laughs> but also, I'm going to kill him later. Okay, I think I've sufficiently paid it over. Yeah, check that out. Delicious. Capri Sun sounds. Well, Capri Sun ASMR. Not sponsored, but I wish I was. Me too. Free sun, call me. I drink a Capri Sun in almost every single one of my streams. Someday they'll sponsor me.
está mal
Jeez. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put my leftovers in the fridge. I'm not going to the BRB screen. I'm just gonna run.
Sorry for the sounds, I'm opening my box of chocolates. Oops, I missed the spot.
успешный, а вы знаете как? The dream dragon can you send me a screenshot? Oh, beautiful! Beautiful, gorgeous! Nice.
Almost there.
Cosmic. I think she's tired. I go back and grab the her proper breath so I can copy and paste it. Thank you.
thoughts are my worst enemy. Water apart. And then we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. Hand brace. Saving the PMGs and then I'll figure out who to raid. Okay, Doki. All right, let's switch. Three men. Hellfire is playing Ultra Kill. All right, let's get that raid started. There it goes. Yeah. 
want to thank everybody for coming. Be sure to get some snacks, hydrate, take your meds if you need to, do your stretches. Take care of yourself or else. I love you all. Hell Satan. Good night. Da-da. <laughs>